Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the inverse variation. And throughout this topic, what we need to talk about is that we will talk about the different forms of inverse variation through equation, graph, table, and statements. And we will also find the constants of equation or constants of variation and the equation representing each inverse variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The first thing that we need to do is to define an inverse variation. The definition of inverse variation is different from, differ from the other references. I think kinuwa ko sa atin. Inverse variation states that whenever the product of corresponding values of two quantities is a constant, then one quantity varies inversely as the other. So, yung tinutukoy dito is itong mismong equation na to. Okay? So, elaborate lang natin. The variables here are x and y. Katulad sa minention ko sa ating um, direct variation. And this one is the formula for the inverse variation. We have y is equal to k over x. Again, y is equal to k over x. Where this k is your con is the constant of variation. At ito yung dalawang quantities that varies inversely. Okay? Next, Ito naman yung formula. K is equal to xy. This is the formula to get the value of the constant of variation. At yung tinto ko dyan, ah. Product of corresponding values of two quantities is a constant. Product of two quantities is equal to the constant. So let's move on. Here are the formulas, ah. Let's move on to the different statements that you're going to encounter here. Y varies inversely as x y is inversely proportional to x. These statements are all equal to this equation or formula. y is equal to kx. y varies inversely as x. y varies inversely or proportional to x. Now, as for the graph of inverse variation, this is the graph of inverse variation. Unlike from the direct variation, direct variation is a straight line that passes through the origin and going up here. Well, this one, uh, this one is not a straight line. Hindi rin siya parabola. Pas sabi ko siyang half of uh, parabola lang siya. Basta curve siya, guys. Ganito yung format niya. And for the table of values, as you can see, here, the values of x are 2, 4, 6, 8. It goes up. While the values of y it's 12, 6, 4, and 3. It goes down. So, pinaka ano dito, pinaka, pinaka movement or behavior ng two variables here is that, let's say for example, you have the variable x or the quantity x and the quantity y. If one value or x increases, the value of y decreases. And if the variable x decreases, the other value, variable tends to increase. So that's what that that is what happening what is happening to inverse variation in contrast to direct variation. So inverse variation kapag yung isa ay tumaas yung isa ay bababa. Kapag yung isa ay bumaba, yung isa naman yung tataas. Okay? Imagine yung seesaw. Okay? So let's continue with the next page. For the next page, we will try to express some of the following statements into mathematical equation. Ito kasi yung pinaka-basic sa lahat. At kailangan niyo matutunan. Express each of the following statements as a mathematical equation. So don't worry, this one is not that bad or that difficult. The number of pizza slices, P, represented by P, varies inversely as the number of persons N sharing a whole number of pizza. So the two variables here are P and N, where P represents the pizza slices, and your n is the number of persons sharing one whole or a number of whole of pizza. Now, how are we going to express this statement into mathematical equation? Simply lang. Pizza slices p varies inversely as the number of persons n. So, kunin mo lang yung variable p. Since varies inversely n, Ilagay mo si letter N sa denominator, then your constant P at the top or in the numerator. 
and this is the answer. P is equal to K over N. So let's move on with the next number. The number of persons N needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days D to finish the job. So to, to represent this into an inverse variation equation, your N, get the variable N, then equal to varies inversely as the number of days. Put that in the denominator, and then your constant K. So let's explain bakit siya ganito, bakit siya inverse variation. Di ba sir, tumataas, bumaba, bumaba tumataas? Ito siya. Let's say for example, meron kang ano, number of person. Uh, we have 30 persons na kayang tapusin yung isang trabaho within 4 days. 4 days. What if nag-increase ka ng number of people na pwedeng gumawa ng job? Let's say for example, you will double it. From 30, kaya tapusin ng 4 days. Yung 60, kaya niyang tapusin ng 2 days. As you can see, tumaas yung number of people or persons that are doing a job while the number of days decreases kasi mas marami na silang tutulong-tulong. That's why, uh, work is an example of inverse variation. So let's continue. The cost C per person of renting a private at a sort varies inversely as a number of N number of n of persons sharing it. So, this one is definitely an inverse variation kapag merong ambagan. Yun yung pinakamagandang ano. The more na marami maghahati-hati, mas, mar mas liliit yung amount na pag-aambagan pag or ibibigay ng bawat contributor. So, for this statement, we have C is equal to K over N. And I hope na sa part na to ng ating video, you already know how to convert statements into mathematical equations which are related to inverse variation. Now let's continue with the next part. In the next part, I will teach you to find the constant of variation and write an equation representing the relationship between the quantities of each of the following. Now, for my three examples, I have here two statements and one table. So let's start with number one. Y varies inversely as X. Basically, what you need to do here is to create an equation. Yung equation natin dito, since Y varies inversely as X, that is Y is equal to K over X. Ang pinapanap sa atin dito is yung constant and equation. So basically, in inverse variation, guys, di ba may formula na tayo? Kanina, di ba? product ng dalawang quantities, k is equal to x, y. Ito na gagamitin natin. So, what will happen is that, ito siya. y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 5. To, five, to find the, k, the value of k, gawin mo lang dito, k is equal to 5 times 12. And basically, your k is equal to 60. Ito na ngayon yung pinapanap sa ating constant. Find the constant of variation. And lastly, Write an equation representing the relationship. Since your value, the value of your k is 60, let's go back to the main equation, y is equal to k over x. Para mahanap yung pangalawa, yung equation representing the relationship, go back here and replace k by this value. And it will become y is equal to 60 over x. And this is the answer for the equation. As simple as that. So let's continue with number 2. Y varies inversely as X and Y is equal to 10. When X is equal to 2 over 5. This one is a fraction. Convert muna natin to. That is Y is equal to KX. Now for the variable, for the formula, K is equal to XY. To find a constant, multiply lang natin itong dalawang to. So what we have is 10 times 2 over 5. So what will happen here? Um, this is, we can cancel out actually 5 and 10. This will become 1 and this will become 2. So as you can see, we have 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So ibig sabihin guys, the constant is equal to 4. And 
to finally do, uh, get the equation representing this variation, balikan mo lang to. Then you have y is equal to 4x. This is the equation. Now, by the way, guys, I have a correction here. Uh, this one must not be y is equal to kx. This one should be... I'm going to erase this one, sorry. y is equal to x, uh, k over x, meaning this one is also incorrect. We will change it into y is equal to 4 over x. This is the equation of variation. I got confused. So... The first equation kasi, that is direct. So, this is the correct answer here. Now, let's continue here. So, what if table naman being given? How are we going to find the constant of variation? And, how are we going to do that? So, using this formula, k is equal to xy, k is equal to xy. K guys, maging careful kayo. Hindi lahat ng table na increasing sa decreasing are inverse variation. Kailangan meron sa makuha ng ano, constant na pare-parehas. Try natin eh. Using k is equal to xy. Let's try the first one. k is equal to 2 times 36. This is 72. So, dapat, kapag sinubukan natin itong mga to, dapat 72 rin. So, try natin eh. 4 times 18, 72. 6 times 12, 72. 8 times 9 is 72. Definitely, this one is an inverse variation. Since we already have the constant, punta naman natin yung equation. Paano ngayon yung sir? Diba? Your original equation is y is to k over x. So, ang mo ngayon, replace k by 72. You have y is equal to 72. 72 over x. And this is the answer for it, guys. As simple as that. First, we identify the constant. And then, we created the equation representing each variation. For the last part of our discussion, it's quite long. Because pinagsama-sama na natin discussion na natin dito. Let's have this one. We will solve directly for the missing variable in a given inverse variation. Solve for the indicated variable in each of the following. In number one, we are asked if y varies inversely. So, this one is definitely inverse variation as x. And y is equal to 3. When x is equal to 4, find y when x is equal to 6. So, dito, pag nakita ng mga sadyante to, they are confused because medyo magulo siya kasi complex ano siya, sentence siya. Halo-halo na siya. Now, ito muna ang ginagawa dyan. Kailangan nyo chop-chopin yan. Ito muna kayo. Chop-chop nyo dito, dito. Ang purpose kasi nito is for the main equation. y varies inversely as x, that is y is equal to k over x. Ngayon, sir, ang purpose nito? Ang purpose naman nito, ito ha, pangalawang statement natin na merong value ng x and y is to find the constant. So, without using the formula, gawin, gamitin natin to to find the constant. Your y is equal to 3, that is 3, is equal to k over your 4, which is x. Cross-multiply mo lang yan. 1 times k is k, and then, 4 times 3 is 12. So, basically, parang nag-multiply ka rin, gamit yung ano, gamit tong formula natin ng k is equal to xy. Ganyan din ginamit natin. Ngayon, sir, uh, what about the main problem? Find y daw when x is equal to 6. So, what you need to do is go back here. Gamitin mo to. y is equal to 12 over x. Kasi kailangan meron kang equation talaga eh, after finding the constant. Ngayon, gawin mo rito, find y when x is equal to 6. So, you will replace x by 6, that is 12 over 6. And dividing this fraction or simplifying this fraction, this will give you y is equal to 2. Ito yung sagot natin. Check na natin kung tama yung nangyari ha. Kasi kailangan inverse yung uh, movement. So, try natin, lagay na natin dito. X, Y. Try ko lang, ha. Check natin. Dito, yung X natin is 4 when your Y is equal to 3. So, dapat, yung movement niya pataas pa baba. Dito, nakuha natin Y is equal to 2. 
yung x natin dito is 6. So, as you can see, your x is going up or increasing, your y is decreasing. Definitely, the answer is correct. So, let's move on with number 2. Okay? If R varies inversely as S, so different variable, baka makonfuse kayo, and R is equal to 100 when S is equal to 27, find the value of R when S is equal to 45. This one is quite big, but let's try. Inverse variation muna tayo, chop-chop natin dito, chop-chop dito, and then this one is the last. So, gawa tayong equation, R is equal to K over S. Or, pwede natin gawin, para madali natin maharap yung constant, or K, multiply mo lang yung dalawa, is equal to RS. So, ito na, gamitin na natin ito to find the constant. R is equal to 100. So, this is 100 R. Yung S mo naman is 27. Medyo malaki. So, yung constant mo ngayon dito is 100 times 27. And that is 2,700. Oo, malaki. Ngayon, hanapin na natin yung equation. Ito, balik tayo dito. Replace the variable K by 2,700 R. Is equal to 2,700 over S. Kasi after mo gawin to, pwede natin puntaan yung main problem. Find the value of R when S is equal to 45. So, medyo malaki to guys. So, what will happen here is this. Hmm. Palitan natin. R is equal to 27 over 45. Ngayon, 27. Pag dinivide natin to ilan bang 45 ang meron tayo rito. So, ang gagawin ko rito para mas mabilis is that I will divide it basically. Pero, syempre, try natin i-mental. Meron tayong um, tatlong 900. Try na natin pa. Sa 2,700. Tapos, when it comes to 45, meron tayong 20 na 45. 45 times 20. Tama ba ako? 45 times 20. 45 times 20. Kasi ano siya, di ba? 45 times 10. It's 45. Ah, 450. So, meaning 45 times 20 is 900. Ibig sabihin yun, guys, yung R natin, which is 2,700 over 45, your R is equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20, that is equal to 60. And this is the answer for item number 2. So, isa ginawa ko, ano, wala kasi yung calculator right now. You can use your calculator in simplifying this. O kaya, pwede nyo siyang isimplify sa fraction. So, again guys, I hope natuto kayo sa mismo video natin. It's quite long, but sana natutunan nyo yung concept. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!